In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a dotted wireframe mountain in 6 minutes. This is how the final scene looks like. There are more than 99 dots, and we can also hide the wireframe mesh to have the dot-based mountain art instead. Let's hide the meshes for now, and I'll show you how they were created. Let's create a landscape by using the A N T landscape add-on. If you don't see the landscape category under add, look for land under add-ons and activate the add-on. We need far less resolution because the default 128 will lag our computers when we add the UV spheres later. Please experiment with the settings, and use the best looking result. This mountain looks good. I'll use this one. Select the mountain. Press Shift D to duplicate and Enter to settle. The duplicated mesh will be our wireframe mesh. Let's create a UV sphere with much lower resolution. S to scale. With the UV sphere selected, hold shift and select the mountain mesh. Press Ctrl P to parent it. Let's instance the spheres on the vertices. We can scale down the spheres further. With the original sphere selected, right click to shade smooth. Click the original landscape mesh and Ctrl A to make instances real. Type M to put them into a new collection. Now we can remove the original sphere and the landscape mesh. Let's find the best angle to render. I'll create a plane, and rotate it to create a background. G and X to move on the X axis. G and Y to move on the Y axis. G and Z to move on the Z axis.
Here are the nodes for the background plane. I have used EV with 128 samples. I'm also using the denoise nodes under compositing. I'm using the forest HDRI image. Please watch a tutorial listed in the description to match my final render settings. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.